Hello everybody, I'm Running the Mayhem here, and today I want to talk to you about this watch. This watch may look like an ordinary smartwatch, but it's actually an ESP32 S3 running the Bruce firmware. This allows us to have a smartwatch, but also have all of our hacking tools that we find in the normal Bruce firmware. So as you can see here, we can actually access all of our Wi-Fi tools that we can get within Bruce, our Bluetooth tools, infrared tools, our file server and file transfer tools, GPS, which currently doesn't have a chip within this watch, our JavaScript interpreter, our others menu, our clock for our clock face to keep it nice and covert, our connect settings, and our config, all built into this tiny wristwatch. What's really nice is the tools work exactly the same as they do in other Bruce devices. So for instance, if I want to set up an evil portal, I can click Wi-Fi, I can come down to our evil portal, I can click default settings, I can set my SSID, and pick the IP. And within seconds, I'm running an evil portal covertly on my wrist. Another thing we can do is our deauth attack. So if we go down to Wi-Fi attacks, come down to our deauth flood. And what we can do is by being on my BLE Shark Nano, we can wait to see our deauth attack happen and our BLE Nano will tell us that a deauth attack is actually currently happening. Once again, really, really covert, really, really easy to do straight off a smartwatch, so it won't look inconspicuous at all, as most of the population nowadays has a smartwatch that they spend most of their time faffing with. So that's two really basic features of what this watch can do. If you want to have a go at this, I'm gonna show you how to flash it now. So to flash the device, I recommend turning it off and taking it off your wrist. Once we've turned it off, we're going to open the port cover for our USB like so, and then we're gonna turn our watch onto its back. If you look for the corner where there is a slight indent underneath the cover, we can actually get our fingernail in there and pry off the back. This then exposes the internals. So to be able to actually set this device into flash mode, we need to remove the battery. And we have a tiny boot button just inside. I'll see if I can zoom in to show you better. And our button is this little gold one just here that we need to be able to push. We have to hold this down at the same time as being able to plug in our USB. Once we've done that, it's over to our desktop to be able to actually flash this device. First to our computer, we're going to click install. We're going to go to start flashing. We're going to go with the B release. Let it go. And we're going to go for the watch S3 and install. We're going to click our port that we want to connect and then follow it from there. I'm now going to show you how to do a custom boot splash and how to do the custom boot sound. What we have to do is come over to our file system. We're going to click file. We're going to come down to our web UI. When it asks us which mode you want to do it, we're going to do it into AP mode. Once AP mode is started, it will tell you that the IP address is going to be 172.0.0.1. The username is admin, the password is Bruce. So once you've got to this point, we're going to grab our phone. Make sure our phone is connected to BruceNet. We're going to put our username in as admin and our password in as Bruce. Once we get to here, we'll be able to see our firmware version. We'll be able to see our little disclaimer about what we should be using this device for, our SD card storage, which there isn't any on this device. We'll see how much space we have on our little file server. We'll be able to reboot the device, sort out using and passwords, set up serial commands, use the little file server and the SD card files. And the way we're going to actually upload our custom splashes is by coming down to here and go to our actions where we can send files, send folders, create new folders, create files and encrypt uploads. And we are going to use select file. And we're going to pick our files that have been renamed boot.jpg and boot.wave. Once they've uploaded, when you reboot your device, it will automatically select these and play them as your custom splash. So I already have done this and they're already set up on there. So I'm just going to reboot my T-Watch now and you'll be able to see the custom splash. So here you'll see the custom splash come up, Man in the Mayhem. And then shortly after you should hear the Windows XP boot up. And that's how we put on our custom splashes and our custom sounds. One thing you may have also noticed when I booted this up is that it went automatically to the clock setting. So it's the most discreet it can be. To set this up, we come across to our config, we come down to our startup apps, 
select start of apps, and then we pick what app we would like to do. And like I say, I pick clock so that when I turn this on, it's a clock, I can then come out of the clock settings to then start doing all of my different little parts of espionage. One other cool feature that I really like is the fact that this has actually got a built-in Ponogachi. So it's got a what they call the Bruce Agachi, which is a Ponogachi, but built for Bruce. And what I think is really, really cool about this is it's actually just on your watch. So you can carry this little guy around with you anywhere, really covertly, and check up and see what they're up to. Well, I hope this video has been a good insight into how to set up and flash your Lilligo T watch and how to use Bruce on it. If you want a more in-depth video of the Bruce firmware, check out my other video about the Lilligo T bed CC1101, where I do a complete rundown of every application and every part of it. I'll put a link in it in the description and a title card. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. If you've already got one of these watches, you're already flashing Bruce or any other firmware, drop me a comment and let me know what you're doing with your device. Right guys, I'll catch you next time. Happy hacking.